doesn't count birthdays. But guesses at 22. At 12, Eric was drafted. A child soldier under the reign of a tyrant at 14. Word had spread quicker than famine that upon orders, Eric does not attack women like the other boys. He does not molest or cause deeper distress and violence like the other boys. He isn't driven by the vision of their quivering naked bodies. He can barely look, let alone claim what he is told is his to toy with. Plunged at the feet of his commander. Eye to eye, refusing to cry, struggling to swallow his heart's biggest lie, I am not gay. Then prove it. At 16, a young girl from the village appears to have already met men like this. She does not falter as they dutifully raise their fists, both were thrown into a mud hut gun hold. Told, one will be shot upon leaving this door for the sin of homosexuality or, or for being a whore. In the drips of sun through the skylight, all courage dissolved. Eric's tears cascade like hot butter down his dusted skin, trace the contours of his face. You cannot be blamed for your heart. The young girl spoke. Eyes devoid of tears, she, she tore at a skirt, told him to hit the walls, show signs of a fight. She, she clawed at her thighs, blackened her own eyes and yelled, but through a twisted smile. Then lay at his feet. Asked him to drag her outside, kissed him on the cheek, told him one day he'd understand. He complied with her request. Beaten, out of breath, they emerged from the hold to the other boys and men and guns. Commanding officers spat, see? Wasn't that fun? As hands pat patted Eric's back, a young girl's body was left to absorb. He flinched at the shot. A shot he knew was meant for him. A young girl's body left to absorb the, this country's fault in the definition of sin. A young girl's body left to become rotten. <coughs> While thou shalt not murder is conveniently forgotten. Ten years from that moment. Eric tells an English stranger his whole tale. Of how his eyes still burn heavy at the memory of that young girl's body. Broken, beautiful, scars like braille. Now Eric marches once again, in the same Uganda, alongside men who are not feared, not armed, not yet regarded, but who are motivated by their heart's inability to harden. Eric marches each year, that young girl's bones forever laid across his spine. For April 2014 was the first successful Ugandan pride. Woo!